Good morning and welcome to Friday Morning Prayer. My name is Scott Dully and I'm the Parish Priest at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Dully, Parish Priest at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We're praying this morning on Wanarua Country and our family pays its respects to Elders past and present. Today is a day that Anglicans and Roman Catholics are called to pray for each other. So we keep that in mind today as we say our morning prayers. Morning prayer this morning can be found on page 413 of A Prayer Book for Australia. The Psalms are Psalm 11 and Psalm 12, which commences on page 232 of the prayer book. Shall we pray together? Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Amen. We say the opening canticle, a song of God's grace, together. We have complete freedom to go, to go into, into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We'll say Psalms 11 and Psalm 12 by alternate verses. Commencing with Psalm 11. In the Lord I have found my refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to the mountains? Look how the wicked make ready the bow and notch their arrows upon the string to shoot from the darkness at the true of heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy place. The Lord is enthroned in heaven. His eyes search out. His glance tries the children of Adam. He, cry, he tries the righteous and the wicked, and those that delight in violence, his soul abhors. He will rain down coals of fire and brimstone upon the wicked. A scorching wind shall be their cup to drink. For the Lord is righteous and loves righteous acts. The upright shall see his face. In Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for there is not one godly person left. The faithful have vanished from among the children of Adam. Everyone tells lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips, but speak from a doubled heart. If only the Lord would cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks so proudly. They say, by our tongues we shall prevail. Our lips are our servants. Who is Lord over us? Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the groaning of the needy, I will arise, says the Lord, and set them in safety from those that snarl after them. The words of the Lord are pure, as silver refined in a crucible, as gold that is seven times purified in the fire. You will surely guard us, O Lord, and shield us forever from the evil generation. Though the ungodly strut on every side, though the vilest lord it over the children of Adam. Let us pray. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray, with your peace and joy, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading today is from the book of Revelation, chapter 2, beginning at verse 12. And to the angel of the church in Pergamon write, These are the words of him who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know where you are living, where Satan's throne is. Yet you are holding fast to my name, and you did not deny your faith in me even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you, 
where Satan lives. But I have few things against you. But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold up to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the people of Israel, so they would eat food sacrificed to idols and practice fornication. So you also have some who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Repent then. If not, I will come to you soon and make war against them with the sword of my mouth. Let anyone who has an ear to listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches, to everyone who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give a white stone, and on the white stone is written the name of that no that one knows except the one who receives it. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. Say the canticle, Saviour of the world, together. Jesus, Jesus Saviour of the world, world come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver deliver us from from evil. For the the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. God our Father, whose will it is to bring all things to order and unity in our Lord Jesus Christ, may all the peoples of the world, now divided and torn apart by sin, be brought together under his sovereign rule of love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters in the Roman Catholic Church. We pray for His Holiness, Pope Francis, as he leads the worldwide Roman Catholic Church. We pray for all bishops, priests and deacons, for those in religious orders and communities and for all lay people. Locally, we pray for our neighbouring Roman Catholic parishes. Lord, lead us into ways of deepening our bonds of friendship and love. Help us to see opportunities to work together for the sake of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray within our own diocese for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We pray for our parishes, for our agencies and schools and the communities of faith that grow in and around them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the First Nations peoples of our diocese, especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkenyung, Gay Weagle, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. We pray for a renewed sense of reconciliation, for understanding and cooperation within our community. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for those who are sick at this time. We hold before you now in the silence of our hearts those people who we know who are in need of your love and healing. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who have gone before us, for holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as examples and inspiration to us. We pray also particularly today for those who have gone before us who have advanced the cause of ecumenism. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Finally, Father, we pray for ourselves and those nearest and dear to us. May we know your peace and light this day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day.